All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the Aaron Davies YouTube channel. And today we are going to be going through the Keep, Sell, Buy, Newcastle edition. I kind of want to do this for every Premier League side, but I've left this a bit late. Um, I also just want to know that I made this list that I've got written down in front of me about two months ago, no joke. We didn't even sign Botman or Nick Pope at this point. So I'm just going to go through a canny few list um, of players the team basically that's been written down apart from the additions that we've just made in this season like the pre-season because we can't do much with them we can sell Botman out if we really want to but we know that we're going to be keeping them so I'm not even going to bother going through them uh, some of these players just to know may have already been sold or may have already been loaned out so we'll just kind of right so as the goalkeepers go Martin Dubravka I'm going to keep Darlo I'm going to keep Gillespie I'm going to keep, and Langley, I'm going to loan out. I think Langley has a massive chance of becoming, I wouldn't say Newcastle's number one. I think with the way the team's going, we're going to be looking at some big European goalkeepers very soon, at least when we're in European competitions. But I think Langley could be a very good backup in the future, definitely, and he's still young. Um, he's got many a chances. I say you get him out alone for two years a team he sticks in there for two years puts in good performances actually gets regular game time so going on to all of the center backs and full backs uh cass i'm gonna sell um i'm pretty sure he's already been sold in real life uh kewan clark sell already been sold to sheffield united paul dummer i'm also gonna sell i just don't see why we stick with them i don't know why Paul Dummett is still at this club, to be honest with you. I understand that I did grow up in Newcastle, what have you. I don't give a shit, really. To be quite frankly with you, he's useless. And squad rotation, I understand that, but realistically, you need to move on from these players. He'd actually do pretty well if he gets his fitness back up to a decent level. And then um, I think he'd be decent in Championship League One. You know, he'd find his play there, but I think it's time at Newcastle as well, because realistically, we're just going to go up from now. We're not going to take any steps back, I doubt. So we just need to kind of move on and push these players away. Uh, Fabian Shaw, keep Lascelles, loan out. Loan out Lascelles. I think he's been rumoured to go to Nottingham Forest on loan, but that was at the point in time of making this list, like I said, two months ago. So it wouldn't really be worth saying this now because I think Lascelles is just going to stay out. I mean, Eddie House said he would still be the captain for now, but he's actually in the starting lineup, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why he came out and said that because really he's never really going to play. Uh, Jamal Lewis, loan. I want to change that right now to sell. So I'm going to say sell Jamal Lewis. I feel bad because I would personally... I would personally like to see Jamal Lewis play for us in at left back. But with Matt Target, you know, the addition of him, I think Eddie Howell all this time just never wants Jamal Lewis in the team and just wants to get rid of him. But it's not as easy as just pushing a player away, I suppose. So yeah, Jamal Lewis, loan or sell, I just can't see him staying at Newcastle. Even if we do loan him out for a season, we're just going to sell him when he comes back. Uh, Jim, uh, Matt Target, keep. Kip, uh, Trippier, keep. Emil Kraft, keep. Was pretty solid at the end of last season. He's had a good pre-season as well. Uh, Federico Fernandez, sell. Unfortunately, I love Federico Fernandez. Always injured though. Getting old. You know, he's going to be 33, 34 this year. Um, Mankio, I'm going to keep. I think Mankio's a good rotation player on the team. Starts quite a lot of games. He had some good performances last season, especially at Old Trafford against Manchester United. He actually scored in that game. Uh, and Dan Byrne is an obvious key. We're coming in with the midfield now. I looked on the Newcastle website and players like um, St. Maxman count as a midfielder on this. So I'm just going to count them in with this list. Uh, Kielmott Sell has been sold already in real life. I'm pretty certain of that. Oh, that is Lewis Cass I'm thinking of. John Joe Shelby, keep obviously such an important player of the team, especially in the rotation and that midfield. Alan St. Maxman, keep no brainer, really. Have a, let's be honest. Uh, Matt Ritchie is a definite keep, in my opinion. Now, this is an interesting one because I think the majority of Newcastle fans would, would look at Matt Ritchie and be like, right, he's a definite sell, just, just get him out of the club, move on. Like I said, we've pulled him and move on from these players, but. Especially just after preseason. Bearing in mind, I did write this list before preseason. I feel like Matt Ritchie has had a pretty good effect on the team. He can play a lovely ball into the box. He's pretty solid up and down the wing, playing as a wing back. I think you keep him, just use him as a rotation player. He's not going to play that many minutes. 
it. So let's be honest, he's not going to be in that many games. So just as a player, a hoy on every once in a while, play in the FA Cup and Carabao Cup, you might as well keep him. Uh, Ryan Fraser, I'm going to be keeping him. Um, this was a really big one because, in my opinion, I'd sell Ryan Fraser, but keep him because, like I said, you can play him on the rotation of the wings and to be honest he's been pretty good in pre-season from what I've seen I went to watch the Atlanta game and he was good there so I'd keep Ryan Fraser but I'm on the verge of saying sell him uh, I don't know who you'd sell him to but he has got a really good relationship with Eddie Howe as well which will help him uh, Isaac Hayden has already went on to Norwich on a loan I think it's a loan deal and if Norwich get promoted they get to um, buy him or something like that. It's like the, there's some clause in the deal there as well. So I'm pretty sure basically the way they announced it is that Isaac Hayden will not play for Newcastle again. That's basically how they've announced it. Uh, Jacob Murphy, I'm going to be keeping. No brainer in my opinion. Almron, keep. What a preseason he has had. Uh, Joe Willock, keep, obviously. Sean Longstaff, keep. Bruno Gimenez, keep. To Bully, I'm going to loan out. I don't know too much about him. I know that he's a young star, but I'd just loan him out. He's young. He needs regular minutes to try and get up to a certain standard. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be um, just loan him out. Simple as that. Elliot Anderson, I'm going to keep. I think Elliot Anderson, you keep and play him in a few of the Premier League games this season. See how he gets on against the men. He was all right against Atalanta. Uh, I don't know if he played against Athletic Bilbao the other day, but against Atalanta, he was pretty solid. So, yeah, I'd be excited to see uh, Elliot Anderson in the first team. I think he deserves it, in my opinion, as well. He deserves to be playing up there with them. Uh, Matty Longstaff is a sell, in my opinion. Sean Longstaff, you keep, you try and figure out something with him. But Matty Longstaff found out where he's best off, and that is in the League 1 or 2 categories in England. As your forwards go, we've got Joe Linton, who I'm going to be keeping. Callum Wilson, keep... Chris Wood, in my opinion, just keep him. I, you couldn't sell him for that much. It's pointless in loan to play like that. I'll realistically just keep him. You can hire him on every once in a while. Thing of buying players, you know, apparently we've tried, we've put bids in for like James Madison and everything, and they've been rejected. Um, I'm going to go in with Lucas Paqueta still. I'm still sitting at a certain point with Lucas Paqueta. I do think we'll get the deal over the line, even if it's later on in the season, even if it's in January. I do think Lucas Paquette will be a Newcastle player in the upcoming seasons. Uh, but I'm, he's valued at 31 million. I'm going to say it's going to cost you around about 35 to 40 million for Paquette. That's how much the Leon are going to be asking for for him. But I think he'd be amazing in the midfield with Joe Linton, Bruno, and then Lucas Paquette just in front of them. I think that would just be such a good trio for the midfield. Ethan Ake is the second and final player I think we need to be bringing in for this season. Like I said, get him now or get him in January, whenever. But I think Nathan Ake, you can buy him for a decent cheap price as values went down since becoming a Manchester City player with him not having regular game time. He's got a bit of experience in there. He has played in the Champions League with them. And he played under Eddie Howe at Bournemouth. It's a no-brainer in my opinion. What are you guys saying about this video? It would be very nice to have your feedback in the comment section down below. And if you guys did enjoy, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification.